Hey guys, it's Chris Haskins and welcome to the realestateroundup.com. And this is your official invitation to our next monthly meeting. It's actually going to be a webinar this time. And um, what we're going to be discussing this on this month is using virtual assistance for a dollar an hour to run your real estate business. And I'm going to get right into this and I'm going to make it short because I know your time is valuable. I hired a virtual assistant uh, about a week or so ago and from from just the start, I want to actually cover why these people are going to work for you for a dollar an hour or a dollar fifty an hour. I put a job out there for two or three dollars, and I got the first day I put it out, September September twenty seventh. I got sixty one notices of new candidates for the position, and the next day, September twenty eighth, I got another sixty one people that wanted to do the job on top of another eight that wanted to actually apply for this position. So I got over 120 people wanting to work for me for a dollar or two an hour. Now, why do people want to do that? Because they're not in this country. Virtual assistants are actually in another country. Real estate is global. You're going to have to realize, you're going to have to understand that and just deal with it. It took me quite a while to understand that I can run my real estate business globally without having to actually have the people that are working for me or working with me see the property. Okay, so let's look at this. I recommend you to hire people from the Philippines too. Philippines is because they speak good English. So we've got the Philippines here. I'm just gonna show you why they can work for a dollar an hour. Typically they're used to getting, now see their minimum wage here. I did a, a Google on minimum wage in the Philippines. Their typical minimum wage is 190 pesos per day. That's crazy. So that's three euro twenty cent a day. So that's what they get paid per day over there. Now let's convert that. I've got my currency converter here. I've got three euro twenty cent per day. How much does how much does that equal a day for the US US dollar? That's four dollars and thirty eight cent. Let's just round up to four dollars and forty cent. A day that they're making. So I got my calculator here. Now let's crunch in four dollars thirty-eight cent divided by eight hours a day. So they're making about fifty-five cent an hour over there in the Philippines. So a hundred and ninety pesos calculates down to you is four dollars and thirty-eight cent a day, which is fifty-four cent an hour that they're making over there in the Philippines. Now, when we hire them, we're going to pay them double. A dollar or two an hour. That's how we're going to be able to get all these people, 61 people willing to work for a dollar or two to do your jobs. That could be looking for foreclosures, looking for FISBOs, looking for money, whatever it is on the internet or on the computer that you want them to do for you. So I'm going to show you exactly how you hire these people to get it down and get it done fast. You can, um, all the information on our webinar is going to be on the email right below there. I look forward to seeing you on our next monthly VIP Coaching Club uh, webinar. Thanks, guys. This is Chris Haskins signing out.